Lloydminster Rescue Squad will be able to help more people in hard to reach places with a new utility vehicle. And as Victor Kaiser tells us, their new John Deere Gator XUV has already helped save lives in the region. It's such a versatile unit that uh, we can use it in, in uh, you know, spring, summer and fall. Lloyd Rescue has been getting a number of calls to respond to emergencies in remote areas. That left Norm Namur wanting a newer utility vehicle. In the last few years, we've, we've been getting called more to search and rescue calls, and some of the terrain we've been uh, going into uh, is, was not, a, not accessible with either a half ton or even some of the quads. So we decided to uh, see what we can use, and, and this came up with the tracks. This vehicle has been in use for about three months and it's already been called into action three times. It was instrumental in finding a, uh, a missing person uh, th this year, so it, 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 it's definitely, it's already, for ours we're concerned, it's already paid off. It, it, it's paid for its, uh, its use. The funding for this vehicle came from both Agland and Husky Energy Lloyd Minster. The energy company donated $10,000. This is an opportunity that we can support the rescue squad to provide yet another service because they do so much with their jaws of life and their, and their water rescues and their quad rescues and that. This opportunity to have a new avenue. We've, we've had calls where we've had to go down in ravines and, and take equipment down, for example, if a, if a plane, you know, for example, a plane crash or if we have to go to a train derailment, uh, you know, where we need to have the tracks of this where it's unaccessible with a half ton or a four by four. At least we have this vehicle now. For now, Norm Namur says one such utility vehicle like this will suffice. But he adds that Lloyd Rescue are always on the lookout for new ideas to help them improve their response time in the future. Victor Kaiser, Newcap News. If you're looking for that special item to add to your collection, the Collector's Show and Sale is the place for you. Now, Cassandra Jadwin has a preview of the event planned for this weekend. Planes, trains and automobiles. What started out as a toy show has evolved into something more. For 22 years, the Border City Collector's Show and Sale has provided those in Lloydminster and surrounding area with everything and anything to add to whatever they collect. All collectibles are welcome, whether it's glassware, coins, antiques, toys, sports memorabilia, anything that somebody collects is available to be found here. And while it can be the items that bring buyers down to the sale, for some it's the shared passion among collectors. Good show, good people, everybody comes to the show with something in common. Um, all a bunch of big kids, I guess. For some, it's toys, others antiques. Audrey McKee and her two sisters have a variety of items, including Audrey's collection of salt and pepper shakers. I started collecting when I was 10 years old. First, pair, first collection I had was a pair of pig salt and pepper shakers. I don't see them here. But they were a gift when I was 10, and I've collected since then to a total of 400 pairs of salt and pepper shakers. Whether you're a collector, this is just a hobby, or you just want to see what's down here, there's bound to be something for you here at the Collector Show. Cassandra Jodouin, New Cap News. Well, spring-like temperatures are on the way this weekend, and if you're looking for something to do, well, we have a few ideas. Megan Willis has more in this week's edition of What's Happening. Feel like taking a magic carpet ride? Well, look no further. Head down to the Vic Juba Theatre this Sunday for Aladdin the Musical. This performance is fun for the whole family and will take you to an exotic place. Start your weekend off right with a live performance by Buffy St. Marie. This woman, born in Saskatchewan, is now 73 years old and she makes her way to the border city to perform her hits for you. She's written songs for Neil Diamond, Elvis Presley, so if you're in the mood for some good music, make your way to the Vic Juba Theatre. If you're looking for some new music, look no further. Dirk Bentley's new CD, Riser, is just what you need. If you want a copy of this CD, all you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. We want to thank John from Universal Music Canada for hooking us up with the hits. This Saturday and Sunday, make your way to the Lloyd Exhibition Grounds for the Bellies and Babies Extravaganza. This event is geared towards young families, so if you feel like having some fun, head on down. No matter what you do this weekend, I hope you have a good one. I'm Megan Willis, and that's what's happening.